It absolutely did. And Campbell is now actually being held here right behind me at the Pierce County Jail, where he will stay until his court date at the end of the month. Now, as you were saying earlier, this has been described as a very heinous crime. However, the sheriffs that I spoke to today have said that, unfortunately, this is just the latest chapter in a trend that's rising fast here in Pierce County. A brutal murder rocked Lakewood over the weekend. Michael Scott Campbell is being held in Pierce County Jail over the death of a man he accuses of trying to steal the catalytic converter off his truck on Saturday morning. Police say Campbell told them he saw two legs sticking out from under the truck when he opened the passenger door and fired straight down. Campbell said he then fired two more shots at the man, tied the man to the ball hitch of his F-150 truck, and dragged him into a nearby field and left him. Campbell said the man was still alive and talking when he was tied up. Authorities say the grisly homicide is just the latest chapter of increased incidents of catalytic converter theft. But authorities say converters are not being taken because of what they can do, but because of what they're made of. The reason they're going after the catalytic converters is to recycle the precious metals that are inside. That process is not something that anybody can just go ahead and do. You have to take it to a, a recycling center that will be able to extract those metals from the converters. Those metals have made converters a prime target for theft. Numbers from the Pierce County Sheriff's Department show that more converters have been stolen in the past six months than the past two years combined. Authorities went on to say that tracking down those converters can be a challenge, given how fast they can be taken and where they end up. It only took 30 seconds from the time they got out of their car to they were back in their car and had cut the converter off the vehicle. The issue right now is just trying to figure out where all the converters are going, who is the person that is collecting them, which recycling center is it that is doing all this recycling for these people. Now Campbell went on to say, now Campbell currently is being charged with two counts of second degree murder and one count of first degree kidnapping. The judge ruled that Campbell would not appear in court today out of concern for his competency, which will be evaluated in time for his court date on June 28th. For now, we're live in front of the Pierce County Jail, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.